We're sending humans back to the moon. These are the Artemis II astronauts, and they're destined for the moon. <laughs> well, Artemis in Greek mythology is Apollo's twin sister. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Something that I like to think about, the first human that ever looked at the moon, at that moment, we were always going. We were always going to seek to have a sustained presence there. We're ready to go back and to stay. We have the technologies that are going to enable us. So it's really just always been a part of what had to happen. I think our generation appreciates having a program that now we get a chance to take our own moonshots, right? What we call great things that humans accomplish. This is our generation's opportunity to send humans into deep space to explore. The surface area of the moon and flattened it out into a, a rectangle. It would be about the size of the continent of Africa. One thing that Apollo got a lot of criticism for was the fact that we kind of just went there and left flags and footprints, but we didn't stay. There's so much more of the moon. The more we learn about the moon, the more effectively we can use it as a proving ground for the capabilities needed to go beyond. It all starts with getting back to the moon.